Don't spill the beans. Store those cans of magical fruit in one of these instead. This is a really easy and cheap project, and if you have basic woodworking tools, you can build one just like it for your pantry. Stick around and I'll show you how. The first step for this project today is to build the basic frame for this thing. Let's do that by cutting up some half inch plywood into three inch strips. We're going to need four of those that are 24 inches long. Now we need to cut a few pieces that are three and a half inches wide. Let's cut two of those that are 25 inches long and two that are 26. After we've done a little sanding on all these boards, let's go ahead and start the assembly. So first, I'll start the assembly process with these 3.5 inch boards. I'm attaching these 26 inch boards with wood glue and some finishing nails, flush with the top and bottom of those 25 inch pieces. Once that's complete, I'll go ahead and take the 3 inch boards that are 24 inches long and I'll install those in the middle here. I'm going to be attaching these with wood glue and finishing nails too. In between each one of these boards, I'm going to have a 5 inch gap. Except for that last space, I'm going to have 4 inches there so I can store some smaller cans. Here's the one with the smaller 4 inch gap, that way I can store those smaller cans. Then the rest of these have normal 5 inch spacing. Another thing I want to point out is that the top of these are flush with the top of those 3.5 inch boards. And when we flip this over, you'll see that there's a half inch gap on the other side. That way we can install the backing. And for the back we're going to cut out a piece of half inch plywood that's 26 inches long and 24 inches wide. Here's a little pro tip for you, I'm going to mark the dead center of these boards right here. And that's going to keep me from missing when I use my nail gun. And now we'll just install this with wood glue and finishing nails. Next, let's make this weird looking angle piece out of a 2x4. To do that, I'm going to set my table saw blade 3 quarters of an inch from the fence. Then I'll turn my blade at a 30 degree angle. Next, let's cut this piece up into some shorter lengths. We need four pieces that are 5 inches long and one that's 4 inches. 
and we'll just attach these at the bottom using wood glue and finishing nails. Now let's set our table saw blade an inch away from the fence and we'll set it back at a 30 degree angle. Then we'll take a 1x2 and run it through here laying flat on its side. Let's cut this thing to 27 inches long. Then we'll use wood glue and finishing nails to attach it to the bottom front edge of this thing. Now we need four more pieces of half inch plywood that are 16 and a half inches long and three inches wide. We also need two that are 16 and a half inches long, but only one and a quarter inches wide. Now I'll attach all these pieces 4 inches from the top using wood glue and finishing nails. Let's attach those two narrow boards flush with the left and right sides. Then we'll just center up those wider ones. I guess I'll party it up a little bit with some wood filler. You definitely want to test this thing out before you paint it, just in case you have to make some minor adjustments. And I'll just paint mine with a white oil-based paint. Once this thing dries, let's go ahead and attach it to the wall. You definitely want to hit studs when you do this. These cans can get pretty heavy. And now we've got some awesome can storage and my beans ain't going nowhere. And these things work so well, I ended up building two of them. This is a really great project if you have a really narrow space that you don't have enough room for shelves, but you need some can storage. And you only need roughly four inches of wall space. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, would you please smash that like button for me? And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing because only cool people like hitting that I believe button.